Hi guys, it's Tessa Brown here and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm on my natural hair and the shit is I'm still mourning the death of my natural hair. Like, I don't understand. My hair went from this to this. Okay, it's a long story. I did dread and my hair was overdue and then I basically lost half of my hair and I am still in severe pain. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I opened my relationship diary and today, yeah, I'll be opening that diary right about now. And I'll be talking something uh, in respect to the period we are in, the quarantine period. The quarantine period and a lot of people are coupled up in the house, quarantining together and, you know, making the stay at home worthwhile. Some people are actually couples and some people are just quarantine couples, like they're just together because of this quarantine period. Whether you're quarantine couples or you are real couples, I'm going to give you tips on how to live together in this quarantine period. You don't want to get sick of each other, you don't want to start um, seeing each other's fault and um, getting <clears throat> wary of each other. You don't want to have the boring pair with your partner. And it's not just all about sex, sex, sex. A lot of people are like, oh, um, come, let's quarantine together and all that. Yes, sex is going to be involved, definitely, but you don't want to make it majorly sex, sex, sex. There are a lot of things you can do not to get tired of each other because Honestly, even the guys that can go tired around in 24 hours will get tired of of having sex all the time because you don't know how long, I don't know how long, we all don't know how long this period is going to last. So give you tips um, about five tips on how you can live together in this quarantine period. Alright, let's go straight to the tips I have to offer you guys right about now. Number one thing you want to do when you're living together as a couple um, whether you're living together like before quarantine or you're just together based on the fact that you have to quarantine together you need to know all those things it will really help you live uh, an interesting couple life in this period so number one is you need to communicate you need to communicate during the day you need to communicate when you can every, every chance you get you know, um, yeah, you, while trying to get personal space, you should also try and communicate. The fact that you are in the house together doesn't mean that you have to not talk to each other or you have, you, you can, you know, flirt a little bit around each other. And when I'm saying flirt, you can, you, um, some people say, oh, why should I chat and why should I message and we're in the same house together? So what's the big deal? The big deal is that you get bored of each other and you start having a strenuous relationship at that period. So what you want to do is text them, pick up your phone, whether it's in the living room and you're in the bedroom or you are sitting right beside each other, you just want to, you know, send a very funny smiley or a very funny sticker just to like <laughs> um flirt you can just flirt in that means just like make him oh i'm still here and i am excited to be here with you it doesn't have to be that you um it is when you're not in his um it, around him is when you only get to text him or send him friends because while you're together you can you know just smile at each other set funny stickers send funny messages you probably want to create a grocery list and you know inside some very very romantic stuff like okay you need to get groceries and then you make a list of groceries you, you need milk you need tea you need um veggies you need that you need that 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 while i'm making that list you can put kisses or in between like number one is milk number two is all number three is um doggy and you just need to you know make something funny and something fun out of it you don't want to um just stay home and not talk or communicate you can just do all this thing just flex one way or the other you can um just take that time to enter a social media network check it instagram like it drop comments on pictures you probably never drop comment on just do something fun like engage yourself if not one-on-one -on -one, but via social media as long as you are trying to keep it alive 
while you're together, it is going to make real sense. Number two is you need to dress up sometimes. The fact that you're indoor and you're not doing anything or you're not going anywhere and you don't know how long this thing is going to last doesn't mean you should keep on wearing that top and um, one-off t-shirt in the house every time. It doesn't mean you should keep on um, just not being um, that person he actually like. You know, when you first met you, you, you and when, whenever you want to see him, you kind of take your time to dress up and all of that. So you want to dress up sometimes to have your bar in as early as possible in the morning or before midday dress up wear a light makeup and if he asks you babe where are you going <laughs> i'm dressing up for you baby that is like that is like um sparks up the whole idea of oh it's it's actually quite fun that you don't have to just dress up because you're going out but you can also dress up just to impress him in the house it makes it, it, it lightens up the the relationship quarantine relationship or relationships you just want to like boost each other's morale number three you need to compliment each other you can sleep on the same bed but then wake up in the morning and tell your girl hey girl you're beautiful hey girl you're naturally and down like you don't have to have the biggest bulbs you don't have to have the biggest spots but girl you are hot like you need to compliment each other you need to make your man feel like oh your abs are like the best in the whole world say sweet things drop hate comments stylishly flirt do something um that would lighten up your romance while in the same house you don't need to do it when you are apart from each other all the things you do basically when you are apart you should learn to do it even when you're inside so as to keep the light burning get in the bedroom well get in the bedroom is like as me studying um sex have sex yes it is i it is barely possible it is possible yeah for couples that actually celebrate and are determined to stay like that till they uh, they get married but for couples who are sexually active you need to get in the bed you need to like not just get in the bed the bed can, the bed in this form can be anything anywhere like it could be the couch it could be the bed it could be your kitchen <laughs> you know just you know have fun and uh, explore you can also go into role playing you, you probably want to pay, play the nurse and then your boyfriend plays the um, patient or uh, you want to play the nurse uh, boss and somebody may kind of thing you just want to go into role play and spice up your your sexual life you want to try new styles if you are used to doggy and missionary, you probably want to do. Okay, I saw something online recently. Sina, blah blah blah. This Sina position. You want to try um, wheelbarrow. You want to try. There are a lot of styles you could explore. You just have to Google sexual styles, and you know, you don't have to watch porn before you can get um, styles because sometimes watching pornography can be quite irritating. Um, no disrespect to those of you who watch it but I don't see you know when you can just go go it, 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 it brings out the pictures of how the position is doing some some ever writes short narrative of how you can do that position without stressing it out and you get to have fun while having sex and then you ex um, you expand your sexual experience and your sexual life Basically, to engage in um, activities like see a movie together, sit down, lights all dark, lights out, cover yourself in blackheads, and watch a movie together. You could also um, play games if you have. It is actually advisable to have card games and board games at home. It is always quite interesting there are a lot of games that you could use to engage each other and you know 
not just sit down when he's in the room pressing a phone the other one is in the living room watching football and it's like you guys are living different different lives while in the same house it is it is okay to live your separate lives while in the house it is okay to keep your interest it is okay to do things you love because you cannot base your happiness entirely on another person's life which is very important you need to keep your interest keep your hobbies but then um, you need to also do things together play games watch movie cook together just do a lot of things that could that would not always lead to sex but it would lead to like intimate and you get to communicate on another level so um, basically you just have to engage do things that are engaging games are my number one suggestions any day anytime monopoly scrabble there's always a first step for everything if you're not used to all of these games you can start doing it already you just if you don't have a home and you are like scared to go out because it's quite a time just you know you, you can still order goods on any of the uh, online shopping center so you just get any of those games monopoly can last you five hours and you still play i can tell you because i love that game mm. finally uh one last thing um, I don't know if I've said more than five already, but <laughs> I think you need to do something called gratitude book or gratitude ship, but whatever. I'm saying this because I think it is important. I think it is good. I think it will help you, uh, your the relationship work out smoothly while you're together this period because you don't know how long it's going to last and you don't want to go weary of each other and start getting pissed off at the other person, person's way of life that's when you know that oh this guy is shitty this guy is messy this guy is not clean he's very unorganized and you start feeling like there are a lot of deal breakers you see but then it doesn't have to be a deal breaker it's just an opportunity for you to get to know your partner right well which is good so um you need to do something graduate work get a book write out two books one for you, one for your partner. Write out at least five things, five to ten things that you like and you appreciate about your partner. You want to like, and maybe you can read it together every night or every morning after your prayer or whatever you do to, you know, keep together. You can, or you can just write it in small, small sheets. Get a get a box or a a jar or anything something you like a container something you can keep um things so you get a paper or all the sticker notes just write what you like about that person you can do it every day or every week but then at the end of the month you get to read it together you pick up pick it out and then you read it together it makes um your partner feel appreciated um, sometimes you might need to also write what you don't like about that person you can do that once in a week but you can do what you like about the person what you appreciate about that person what every day and then you read it together at the end of the month or at the end of the week depending on how you want it and you just make improvements <laughs> Alright, I'll call it a wrap right now on this episode of Relationship Diaries of Brown TV. Ah, it's been such an amazing time with you. I hope you had an amazing time with me as well. I, um, I hope I didn't bore you. I hope I was able to help you. So, <laughs> happy quarantining to anybody who is quarantining right now. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's actually not something to be all happy about though. Because a lot of people are in distress. Some people have died, some people are in the hospital due to this pandemic and I hope everything is going to die out soon. I pray that everything is going to die out soon. And some people are not making any money because of this same thing because they get paid early or daily depending on what they're doing. But then, 
I pray everything is going to work out well at the end of the day. But your relationship is about you and your partner, not the top party, not that person who thinks you guys are meant for each other. But it is all about you and your partner. Stay, we communicate, be together and um, try to understand each other as much as you can. And if it is a relationship that is not tolerable, I will advise you do not stay in a toxic relationship. It is unhealthy for your emotional health and mental health. So keep a balance in life, keep a balance in your relationship and stay intimate. Out of self, Tosu Brown. You can follow me on all social media platforms at I am underscore Tosu Brown. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, anywhere. Even LinkedIn, like just search Tess Brown. If I am not that on that particular social media network, you would not see me. But if you, I am on that particular social media network, I am always going to be there. As I am on the Scott Tess Brown is the handle. Don't forget that. You can like our page on Facebook, Browns TV, and follow on Instagram as well at Browns underscore TV. I love you guys. Thank you for always subscribing. Don't forget to like comment and share and if you're yet to subscribe and you're watching this video please please subscribe i would really do appreciate it thank you so much for the love and support i'll see you in another episode this next week